welcome to Renaud chemistry classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic, acids, bases. In this video, this is the 10th video. In this video, I am going to discuss about buffer solutions. So why we need buffer solutions and what are buffer solutions and how to calculate the pH of buffer solutions. Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. First, we need to know why we are made of buffer solutions or buffers. And what is a buffer solution? So, in body fluids such as blood or urine, they have to maintain, they will sustain it only at definite pH. So, if any deviation occurs in the pH, which disturbs or malfunctioning the body. And uh, control of pH is very important aspect in chemical as well as biochemical processes. So, uh, the, to maintain, for example, even uh, in uh, for agriculture, for fertility, pH also maintained in a, at a particular definite value. So, this is a very important aspect maintaining of the pH at a given definite point. So, what is a buffer solution? Buffer solution is a solution which resists the change in pH. Buffer solution is a solution which resists the change in pH. We are calling it as the buffer solution. So, the buffers are needed to maintain the pH at constant value. So, what buffers do? Buffer solutions will resist the solution is a solution which resists the change in pH. The solutions which resist the change in pH is called buffer solution. So, buffer solutions are of two types. One is acidic buffer and another is basic buffer. Buffer solutions are classified into two types. One is acidic buffer and another one is basic buffer. What is an acidic buffer? Acidic buffer is a mixture of weak acid and salt formed by this weak acid with a strong base. What is an acidic buffer? Acidic buffer is a mixture of weak acid and salt formed by this weak acid with a strong base. So, for example, if you take acetic acid, we know that acetic acid is a weak acid. We know that acetic acid is a weak acid. When this acetic acid is treated with strong base such as sodium hydroxide, strong base such as sodium hydroxide, the salt of this weak acid will be formed. Salt of weak acid will be formed. That is nothing but sodium acetate. Sodium acetate. So the mixture of weak acid and weak acid and salt formed by this weak acid with a strong base is called acidic buffer. So acidic buffer is a mixture of weak acid and salt formed by salt formed by this weak acid with a strong base. With a strong base. Now what is a basic buffer? Basic buffer is a mixture of weak base and Salt formed by this weak base with a strong acid. For example, for example, ammonium hydroxide is a weak base, and uh, ammonium chloride. This is formed by the salt. is a salt formed by ammonium hydroxide with HCl. It is HCl. So buffer solution is a solution which resists the change in pH. And buffers are classified into two types: acidic buffer and basic buffer. And uh, Acidic buffer is a mixture of weak acid and salt formed by the weak acid with a strong base. Whereas basic buffer is a mixture of weak base and salt formed by this weak base with a strong gas. So pH of acidic buffer is given by Henderson's equation and pH is equal to pKa plus log concentration of salt by concentration of the weak acid. Where this Ka is nothing but the acid dissociation constant. So, pH of acidic buffer is given by Henderson's equation. pH is equal to pKa plus log salt by acid and where Ka is the acid dissociation constant. Acid dissociation constant. 
So POH of the basic buffer. For basic buffers, we can determine the POH and is given also given by Henderson's equation. So POH is equal to PKB plus log salt by concentration of the base. Here also KB is the base dissociation constant. Base dissociation constant. Thank you for watching Tranath Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.